Sir, have you heard about Kusama Kings? First minted only on October 4th, 2021, and listed by auction or stealth drop, the original Kings were priced at 4 to 8 KSM, but with a lifetime volume of over 4,400 KSM, putting it second on Singular One behind Dino Dino, a collection 80 times its size, you won't find a King today for less than 70. Kusama King's motto is, it pays to be king. And the associated discord is flowing with investment opportunities, alpha, and discussions on financial strategy. Coming from a traditional finance background, it was natural for founder KBL to provide value to the community in this way. In a recent interview on the Non-Refungible Network podcast, KBL comments that the utility of the kings is to make money for the kings. His personal goal is to make sure that no one actually has to pay for their king. Which is already true for kings that have strapped themselves on the king's pad where private sale opportunities are arranged for all who wear a crown. A king's council helps in the decision making around these investment opportunities, private AMAs serve to evaluate teams behind potential investments, and open discussions help each community member make decisions for themselves. But they can always sit back and rake in the king's bounty, which is a gift given to king holders at the end of each quarter depending on the performance of their treasury investments. One important reason why the collection remains at 110. While KBL is the clear leader of the community, he doesn't necessarily think he leads anyone. The community works together and leads the project collectively. KBL believes strongly in under-promising, over-delivering, and treating all things fairly, even purchasing his own king on secondary for 15,000 bucks. With such a limited collection, it's hard to join the Great Hall, but that all changed recently when the doors swung open for a new collection, the Kusama Queens, which will receive all the same benefits as the kings, minus the king's bounty. KBL's analysis is that the size of the current marketplace is finally ready to sustain a larger community, and one-third of the queens have already been released, with a floor of 36 KSM and around 1200 KSM volume. And after they're all gone, the Great Hall will be closed for good. But that doesn't mean the collection will stop growing. What do you expect happens when you put kings and queens together? So this was the first in a short series where we'll be exploring potential blue chip NFT collections across Dotsama. In traditional finance, blue chip stocks are well established, widely recognized as low risk, and deliver consistent value to shareholders even through market downturns. We might additionally consider NFT blue chips as having market leading floor prices and top volume. Though importantly, blue chips must also stand the test of time, which really no collection on Dotsama has really had to face. This series will of course not be financial advice, but as we explore the design of Dotsama governance, we're going to take a look at how communities and consensus grow around NFTs, especially as they become more than just collector items. Kusama Kings tout a hybrid model, where KBL nudges the community toward opportunities, they're then considered by a council, the community, and at last the individual. But sir, now that you know the Kusama Kings, do you believe they have what it takes to become a blue chip NFT? Have a great night, everybody.